selected because of a lack of game time with a slight injury niggle as well. Some concerns abound when you consider defensive cohesion. And that's it. There are players that are starting today that have been uh, in good nick, and Morgan Gould has got the type of physical presence you want. Furman tries for the challenge, but Central African Republic in the initial stages showing just how quickly they can move the ball around the turf and a rather interesting keen to get his hands on the ball manages to claim confidently in the early stages his distribution though nearly intercepted by Furman and David Munger just unable to control cleanly so a couple of nervous touches perhaps from the the wild beasts and in the end not quite sure why it was uh, not currently with the uh, Sedan. Sedan, one of the second tier French footballing sides, but there's some uh, interesting players that have been on the books of Sedan in recent years, and still the current uh, couple of players, an interesting squad. All about that in the moment, though, is moving the ball around the middle of the park, Rumurik Ngazi most experienced of the Central African squad who come to South Africa and one of only two who was actually playing international football before the three and a half year Egypt and the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers and return leg Ete Buama should be the player to look out for Kune better looking here's a chance for the uh, captain Lindsay Amisi, left-sided player, left-footed player, can play at left back, can play at left wing. He's pushed forward, enjoyed some solid time. Can play anywhere down the left side, and even in a slightly more central position. Furman stunned the ball and. Uh, Time. Poor communication between Tsurunyane and Furman, the return ball not picking out the English base player. Actually, Maslamu. Tsurunyane now down the line to Sopala. Look to work. players chasing up. Nobody's got the pace to uh, quite keep up with Pala, and that ball needed to be cut back significantly, not more, not more than the square ball that was offered. Maslamu down, his little attempt to flick inside. Away from Furman. Instead, Zayabisi picked up on it. David Manga. Again looking for Kili Yuga on the over. But, uh, there for the goalkeeper to clean up. And he does add just a wonderful pad of promise behind his defence. There's uh, Lombe, impressive young goalkeeper. Tumidane. Yes, to Sopala. To break inside that 18 yard area. Stays on his feet. Look for the. Never no mind. Nigeria was hosting that match. Certainly only just avoided a few blushes there. Or when you're talking last minute, does not even do justice to what the results. It shows you that uh, this is a tough way or route to, to Brazil. But you're talking about those uh, the, the qualifier joint. I'm thinking of yesterday in Spain against Finland struggling at home. And also Israel against Portugal. This is very interesting. And that 3-3 match, Israel. You've got Furman and Letunignani in the middle of the park. You know that you've got two very committed ball winners. Really, all you can ask for from your players commitment, passion. Play with heart. Kunes outside his area here. There's the captain again. A probing run down the flanks. Up by a defense meeting pass from Tulunyane. Striker unable to finish. Back inside. Great chance here. A turn and shoot. Trying to get into attacking positions here. Away by South Africa's central defender Tete. 
captain of his club side, Pumplodane Celtic. inside that area now fourth joins should be cleared and one last should be on the end of it Back to Tsunanyane I can tell you that Furman's on his feet and it looks in on the park the Fushu Dibhatri from Crystal Palace making his way to the centre line is waiting patiently to come on in Furman's stead attempted little ball back from uh, Manga Central African Republic still in possession here. Manga has got pace, he's got a powerful shot as well, especially with that left boot. And uh, Matlaba here against Central African Republic. It is running indeed, and if you can recall that the only game that won in the African Nations Cup here at home uh, just a month ago was also scored by uh, the defender, and that's Sangweli. And one thing, they are very slow, and that is why we tormenting them like this. Very yeah, fair point, they are a bit sluggish. We have been times they've looked to expose that, but not quite used it to their advantage as much as you might have expected. Ketibuama now pushing forward. Away by Tete. Just initially, here's the captain in ZABC. In the middle of the park, Zete. Uh, he's been playing out in Southeast Asia for the last cup. He was missing today through injury. He's South Africa's leading goal scorer during the Africa Cup of Nations. Again, a defender. Who really have been the players who pulled out the uh, top draw when you need it most moment. The Ugandan referee getting the second half underway. Ali Kaliongo says uh, the visiting team in blue with white trim can start looking forward to trying to uh, put a little more pressure on the South Africa on the bench for South Africa and his opposite number of Lugudi neither have made any half-time changes it's an early effort of 12 so far up in the corner for South Africa toward the back post and right up there trying to bring it in South Africa with the uh, FIFA goalkeeping coaching license. So peace to Central African Republic, moving the ball around quite swiftly, but again failing to pick out any of the players. Very alert, generally very decisive as well. South Africa keeps that all important clean sheet in this qualifier. Maklava. Is it the captain to strike? It is! Kuna parries it away. Follow up! Just tipped over. I thought for a moment Kuna might have actually got a touch on the follow up there. Great save from the free kick. It's delivered by the captain. Ilojenza Yamisi. It's getting a little scrappy in the middle of the park now. Some looking delivery over the top, and Tete read it well. Captain again, deflection and just wide. Morgan Gould, unwitting. Captain again continues to be one of the main attacking threats. Morgan Gould just prodding that. Yamisi again to deliver. Oh, and this time it's worked in, saying it's off the arm, off the hand. This is from the corner. What happened? Peter getting involved, and he's just flicked that ball into the back and straight onto it. 
Who missed out a couple of training sessions earlier this week going to an injury, went for an MRI scan. Everything seemed to be A OK. He was given the go ahead. And now making his way onto the park off the bench. Again, Balabanji, twice the leading goal scorer in Cameroon, where he was on the books of Kotel Sport. The school tried to clear. And uh, now we got a stands up moment it's in a very very prominent position for central african republic looks to be just inside the 18 yard area oh it's cool tried to clear it. great chance but it's uh, pushed well wide of target Especially on this man who was going to be rattled especially after that goal from Mata. Well, fair enough point i just think though that some of the decisions here are going to be uh, looked at after the match what is very key about this team now the central african public side they're sitting back and they are inviting south africa which is the game we need to be invited by the uh, visitors because if they had to put in the pressure on us we would know that it's a matter of time and then they would equalize and a draw wouldn't be good enough for south africa no selfish glory especially with the chances that he got in the first half and then he is off the game in the second half he's completely out of the picture Fair point. Just to chip in with a strike if he can. Parker, Dehatri. He's under a little bit of uh, pressure. As the intensity of the match has increased somewhat. On the way through the defence, couldn't pick out a teammate. Instead, Central African Republic turned possession over. It's the captain again, pushing forward. Enze Amisi. Waited it nicely, but Matlaba up to the task and time is chat Shavalala and Tsuligani looking to combine for South Africa. Manisa has got in on the act. Matlaba forward. decisions against uh, Central Africa, a couple of decisions against South Africa, it's not exactly been uh, one team that's benefited completely, but there's just been some inconsistencies which uh, must concern those in footballing circles. Turn around, a good solid before it goes. Good at, called it to act. Take away the efforts of Elogens uh, the see Central African Republic have had precious little in terms of attack in this game. Pune easily underneath the touch of those players, and he's not a striker, by the way, and he's just been hitting the target. He's such a quality striker of the ball. But uh, you're talking about uh, the pitch earlier on, and what is very key is Gordon Igerson achieved what used the width of the pitch. He certainly has. He's a man who knew what he wanted to do, and he's not the best. Chris Matsepe among those watching on. Trot Moloto, former coach of the national team as well. Inside, three points is what was required, and this will send South Africa to the top of the group standings. Despite the fact that Ethiopia and Botswana play tomorrow, they might very well be hoping for a favour from Botswana. Well, South Africa shots on targets have not quite been as formidable as South Africa's. And the Central African Republic look uh, just about set to succumb to the 2010 World Cup hosts. And Fana Bafana. And easy. 
Longbeek unhappy to claim that. On the line, the uh, challenge came in. Deflected, and Kune manages to keep. That deflected attack. South Africa running the ball out of their own danger area here. Matlango. As we hit the night down by Musa Zimbori again, 21 year old. Is impressed in his time playing for his national team, but better looking. Every day again. So they really are trying to. Uh, South Africa defence just uh, a few palpitations late on, but the number of players forward is left space at the back by Flangel can't escape. Transition ball on here, Zimbori charging forward. Flangel, the ball away. 